Welcome back with one more voice over. This time I'm gonna be training with Rodrigo. He's a black belt. He trained with me for about two years and he's one of the toughest deep half guard players out there. So there's a ton of details for you guys. And thank you for sticking around and watching to the end. There's a ton of details for you guys. All right, so we start right here. He starts sitting and then he's trying to get a grip to set up his guard and then he jump into a half guard and right away as you guys can see it i take my foot out to don't give him the leg start circling around a little bit and then he is squared up with the guard and i jump again disconnecting my leg to avoid getting a deep half guard and then right away he did a good job pushing with the frames and bump me to force me to run out of balance and then he got his guard back and then from here he set up kind of like a spider guard and then i know that he really wanted to uh, uh, trap my leg so pay attention to what he's gonna do he's gonna put one of his legs between my legs and then let go the spider guard the spider grip to trap my leg and then I step out to avoid that and then i try to put shoulder pressure right there and then he got the deep half guard. It's very annoying, very annoying game to deal with, but that's what we're here for, and to show you the best detail from bottom, from top. So he set up the half guard, and then he tried to open my lapel, and I tried to open his lapel. He's the detail that is gonna change this game for you guys to stop half guard. Pass the lapel under his leg. That way you're gonna kill like so much of his leverage, all right? And once again, if you don't know me, I'm Mark Chinoco, Marcel Garcia, black belt, five-time world champion. Big us, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. All right, continue right here. And he's trying, dying to get deep and deeper in a half guard. And I'm just keeping that lapel really tight right there. So if I was Rodrigo, I would change the direction when he gets there. But I'm going to show you in a sec when he should do it. So kind of right now, right here, as you guys can see, he has like his right hands under my pants and his left leg trying to bait the lapel. So I kept my arm right there holding his lapel. So he's stuck, he, there's nowhere to go. For him to sweep me, he needs to disconnect the half guard and try to bridge, right? So that's why the lapel is a key game, a key change for you guys. So keep the lapel and you're gonna see it, you shut down most of his leverage so i kept holding right there and i know the end time he want to bump and bridge me away so i kept the lapel stay patient right so understand where the person wanted to go with his half guard so i kept holding the lapel for a while and i kept lean that way as you guys can see look now he's in a deep half guard so that's what i would change if i was rodrigo i was gonna go his right hands to my hands and then try to sit up from there but he didn't do that so now look i keep leaning forward to change his angle right so that way he doesn't bridge me towards my back so i kept heavy on my legs and then this time say okay i'm gonna change a little bit so i hold his belt and the lapel so i let go of the lapel i kept holding the belt and then he bridges me like i told you guys there's nothing that he can do from here he'll lose it and then force him to get to a total position. So it's a really, really good scenario for he, right here for you guys. So the lapel is a key change to kill any half guard player. So he stopped in a total position. And then from there is a terrible position to, to start with. I would have rolled right away if I was me on bottom. And then put my left hands right deep on the lapel. And he trying to recover guard. And I kept the lapel really tight right there and keep pushing him down to force him get to the sideways right there, see? So I know that he wanted to dive for my legs. So I kept tight around his back and then like push him down. He wants to connect my leg, I keep pushing my leg away. So I say, you know what? This time I'm gonna try transition for a finish. So I use my left hand what's under his arm and under his neck. I'm gonna dive my hands around and open up my lapel. So look, I, I need to get close possible of his shoulders. And then I'm gonna set it up a Ezekiel. It's one of the 
greatest submission you can do against a half guard player is the Ezekiel because it fits so well. So I get my hands inside my sleeves. And then, as you can see, my right hand, my right foot is on the back so he cannot roll me. And then I move forward a little bit over the shoulders and then pass my hands right there. And then I shoot myself around the back. And this point, there's not, look, he has my half guard right there, the foot on my half guard, but the choke is so tight and fits so perfect. Feels so good to connect this choke right here if you get it right. And then from there, it's really, really deep. It's about be patient and get a tap right there. And you guys should give it a try. Maybe I'll cover it up in a video about this choke, different ways to set up the ZKR from the back. And then we restart the video, we started to train, and then he stood up. He decided to play guard, so, uh, play top. So, okay. And Rodrigo is a really tough on the over under as well. So it's like deep half guard over under goes really well together. So we end up on top. I close my guard. I try to mess around the cross grip, and then he decided to stand up. So you know what? I'm gonna go for the muscle sweep. I hit a muscle sweep and then got back. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. There is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. <clears throat> There's three lasso guard instructionals, one for each needs. There is winning double knee position. Everything starts from the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the last guard. If you want to check it out, go at bjfnx.com and don't wait. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. All right, I'm going to go for the muscle sweep in a slow motion so you guys see the details. And then I come up right away and then he tried to trap me in a half guard. As you guys can see, I wiped my leg over because I knew he's turning. So I took my leg out from mount. And then he turns right away, but and then I did a big mistake right there. So look, I did not use seat belt, even the hooks. That was a terrible connection in my mind. So, oh man, I lost, I messed it up. Anyway, game goes on, right? So I kept sitting guard and it had, I'm trying to connect my guard and he's breaking the grips and then he's trying to jump. And then there he is for the over under, he's looking for the over under again. So he's really strong, guys, I have no idea. So I switch, I try to pass his head right on the same side of his body because that's the way that I like to deal against any kind of like over on the pass. So if his head in the same line of his body, I know that he won't be able to get ahead of me. So I dump him forward and then from there, he paused on the total once again. So Rodrigo should roll right away if you really wanted to get to the half guard again. So, and then he gave me a chance to go for the Kimura trap. So I just kept my time right there. Once I get a Kimura trap, I'm gonna try set up a crucifix and there was it. So I throw my leg into the crucifix, which is a really good variation for who uh, going against the total guard. He's so strong, he keep holding me in the air. So in my mind, I'm not gonna let go of the Kimura trap because I know it's a very good position for me. And then I'm gonna force roll. And then I kind of like, I roll him over me to try get a better angle to finish the crucifix or even the neck. Crucifix is a really, really good position. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a, a breakdown for you guys in a video so you guys learn, especially for lightest people, crucifix is amazing to work against like total position, big guys, you can sneak around the back and trap the arm. So I roll over and try to get a better angle, but I didn't, I think the time went out, but I really appreciate for you guys to stick around. Thank you so much for supporting the video. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for like, and also subscribe to support the channel. I really appreciate And please let me know what you guys like to see in the channel. Thank you so much.